On October 14, 2021, YouTuber and activist Press NH Now conducted a First Amendment audit at a government contractor in Charlestown, New Hampshire. It was an ordinary audit in most regards, but it would set off a chain of events that few could see coming, exposing a disturbing amount of corruption from the highest levels of local government to its very citizens. Press NH Now would lead the charge in bringing liberty to Charlestown, and this small New England town would never be the same. I'm asking you what you have going on. Well, I don't care what you're asking me. I'm not going to answer you. Touch me again, I'll spray you with mace right in front of the chief. How about that? Why are you going to spray me with mace? Turn around. Guys, do not back. call Charlestown Police. Put your hands behind your back. The Charlestown Police Department. Uh, phone calls continued, jamming our phone lines for approximately three days. Nonstop? Nonstop. You're so cute. Call Connor. You're so cute. I get tough again? <laughs> Are you serious? No. Get your hands off of me no. now! You're live streaming with like 3,000 people, buddy. Go ahead. Every one of them. Go ahead. Every Do something, them. tough guy. So they trespassed me from every public building in Charlestown? That's not even legal, dude. What does, what does my the chief fault. have to do with this? He's covering up crimes for his son. I know a lot more than really? you guys know. That Wait, is his son. I don't give a f who you are. You don't right scare me. Your fing dad don't fing scare me either. I know all about you, bro. But I'm going to take this whole fing town down with me, too. Yeah, Watch. You Swing trying, on me. Trying to find a little kid? So, no. What the f Dude, stop. Stop. Stop it. Fuck it. makes me. Go home. Go home. Go home! I got arrested by you last week. I got assaulted by Jeff Lessels. Then I got my tires slashed all in one week, Connors. What's gonna happen next time? What's gonna happen tomorrow, Connors? Press NH Now, as his name would imply, hails from New Hampshire. A state is well known for its lush natural landscapes, as for its history as the hub of the American Revolution. The official state motto is live free or die, which is second only to Virginia's in sheer badassery, representing both the sacrifices that have been made to defend our freedoms and the perpetual need to honor and protect our rights. Conducting investigations in and around the New England states, such as Maine, Vermont, and Massachusetts, Press NH Now, between educating post office Karens and town hall Darrens, has exposed corruption in municipalities both large and small. On this date, Press headed to Charlestown, New Hampshire to audit Wayland Engineering, a government contractor that manufactures police lights and sirens, among other things. Auditing government contractors is one of his specialties, and he has a whole playlist of them. The philosophy, of course, is that a private company profiting off of tax dollars is subject to the scrutiny of the taxpayers. As mentioned, there's nothing too out of the ordinary about this audit. Yes, there's a tyrant cop and a tough guy, Darren, but those are nothing new. It was the actions of the police chief, who we'll meet in a minute, in the days after the audit that would lead to his and his town's undoing. Within mere minutes of the chief arriving on the scene, we see him perpetrate lies, intimidation, cambacks, unlawful directives, and dereliction of duty. He didn't know what he was in for today. Here we go. What do you mean? Well, I'm filming, I'm just wondering. Oh, you just made an illegal U-turn. Why you do that, man? I was talking to you. I just want to know what you're thinking. I don't know. I don't know. Just, it's a beautiful world. How's it going? What's up to? Can I get your name, badge number? I am Chief Connors, 401. Chief Connors? Yeah. Why'd the chief come out? Because I just happened to be driving by. I don't believe that. Yeah. What do you got going on? Oh, that's a bullshit lie, Chief. Okay. What do you have going don't on? Don't start off with lies, dude. What do you What's your uh, badge number? 401. 401, thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're illegally parked too with no lights on. So you, you should probably put on? your lights on for safety. What do you have going on? This filming? I mean, you're alright to film. You know what I mean? Yeah, do they call you? I'm asking you what you have going on. Well, I don't care what you're asking no. me, I'm not going to answer you. Okay. I don't answer questions. Okay. And I'll just be hanging out, just watching you, watching people. Cool. Alright. Is that what we pay you for? Uh, I don't think you pay me. We don't pay you, huh? The people don't... The people of Charlestown pay me, but I don't think okay. you pay me. No? Why is that? Are you a resident of Charlestown? What's out of any of your business? Okay. All right. Very good. I pay so, taxes, just like everyone else. Yeah. yeah. So, feel free to do whatever you do. I don't need your directives, road. dude. I already know that, man. Um, chief, I already know that. You could just go back in your car. Wheeling, wheeling you can here. go back in your car and you could just leave, Chief. Wheeling I don't need here it. here is private property from... So you got a call? They called you? It doesn't matter. It does matter. I'm going to pull the record, so it does matter, Chief. Yeah. 
And, and I'm going to call you out on your bullshit lie. You weren't just driving by. You just saw me pull up. So what does that matter? Okay. You can't even I'm answer not, me if there was have, a call. I'm not going to have... Why don't you tell me if there was a call generated so I could pull the record? You can you can pull my whole log for today. I know, I will, and actually. You do it, I'll give it to you. All right. All right. So you weren't called here then, huh? It doesn't matter. It does matter. Yeah, I was not called here. You weren't called here. So we're going to find out. We're going to see if Chief Connors... One, Chief Connors was not called. And we're going to see if you're bullshitting. Very good. All right. I'm going to pull your emails and text messages and all. So don't delete them. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, I don't need any right. more. Uh, Have a good one. Any more bullshit from you. So the chief of police of Charlestown here says there's no call generated. So we're gonna try to figure that out. Okay. What's your name, Jeff? Uh, have a good one. Uh, take care. Jeff, did you call on me, buddy? Did you call them? I didn't call anybody. I have no idea who you are or why you're here. And yeah, no, I'm just asking because he said there was no call generated and he was just driving by, so. Well, then why would you disbelieve me? Because police lie all the time. Supreme Court's, no, already, Supreme Court's already ruled that they can. They can do what? They can lie to the public. Well, I don't believe he lied to you because I didn't call him. Is it Jeff? I'm going to pull the call anyway. <laughs> all right, you're going to have to work for it, Chief. You're going to have to work for it. <laughs> I'm gonna pull that too. But, but this is 380. Now that you're here, yeah. I've received several. All I'm saying, sir, if you listen to me, I have to listen to you. Is if you come onto our property. Yeah, I don't need your bullshit either. I'm sorry. I don't need your bullshit. Who's bullshit? Your bullshit. Mine. You're gonna walk. You see this? You're not gonna do anything. What am I doing, Chief? What am I doing? Yeah, you want to touch me again? I'll get you for assault. Go ahead. He just did. I didn't touch you. You, your camera bumped into. Go ahead. Now you touch me again. I'll spray you with mace right in front of the chief. How about that? Why are you gonna spray me with mace? You think I'm playing, huh, Chief? Why are you? You think I'm playing, huh, Chief? If he touches me again, okay, Chief, I'm gonna spray him right in the face. You're gonna get arrested. If he touches me again. He's right? gonna get sprayed. His do you understand right? English, Chief? What is your name? Do something. Do you wanna, do you it's wanna right make here. A report? Right there, Chief. Do you want to make a report? No, I don't. I don't want him. Tell him to he's step on, back. He's on Tell him to step back. Uh, he doesn't have to Why step back. Why do I have to step back? Just is like that illegal? You're an asshole, Jeff, huh? You don't have to step back either. That's right. illegal? I'm, I'm not allowed to stand here? Oh, you feel tough in front of the Chief? No, I don't feel yeah, tough you in do. front of the Chief. Yeah, you do. You're a punk, dude. Get back on your property and go to work. You're a joke. Why am I a joke? If you want to make a criminal report, I can take it. No, I don't need it, dude. I don't need your report. But I love how you're not de-escalating the situation right now. De-escalating what situation? I love it, Chief. It's all right. It's all right, Chief. So if I walk up to you like that, that's okay, Chief? You just Is that okay, Chief? You just did. Is that okay? If you Is it officer safety, Chief? Huh? You don't like that, huh, Chief? Yeah, how do you feel, Chief? So... So you're escalating this. I'm escalating this? Yeah. Seriously? Yeah. I'm not escalating anything, dude. He wants to get in my face and act tough, dude. Why am I he's just standing I'm standing here with my care. hands in my pocket, yeah, he's and you're down. standing you on the road. Like it. It's a public road. You can, you can be here. I can be here. All right. So well, we difference? can do this. I don't, I don't really care. Yeah. I can do this all day. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. Let me get my camera so I can record all of this. Oh, there you well. go. So Join, he's joining the movement. If, if I'm, I if would you, love to. If you, you want are. to make a criminal report, you can. I don't have a criminal report. Sir, do you want to make a criminal report? Oh, no, for what? Not at this point. I okay. do not. All right. There's nothing he well, can gonna, write a criminal gonna, report on. Clear and you yeah, guys clear out, man. Continue to, to do yeah. what you're doing. I'll tell you one thing. If you get a call from me about him getting sprayed, you know why? Because he put his hands on me. He's been he's, he's been warned. I don't think he's going to put his hands on you. No. I wouldn't want to either if I was him, Chief. He thinks this bothers me. I don't think it bothered you. But if you're doing it with us, we'll just return the favor. That's all. All right, buddy. This joke. Look at him. Feels good about himself now. This makes them feel better now, guys. Look at this. <laughs> you're looking great for Waylon. Let me Thank tell you. you. I appreciate that. Oh, man. HR's going to love this yep, video. We are, because that's exactly who's going to see it. All right. You're going to learn. You get that? Got it, loud and clear. Great. You're gonna make a great thumbnail, buddy. I already warned you. Warned me about what? Coming into my space and touching me. I can't come into your space? Why can't I if come into your you space? that's how you feel better about it. No, so long as I'm not touching you, I, there's no rule on space, is there? I don't know, wearing a mask is kind of stupid to 
be stepping six feet in front of somebody's face. You feel better now, Jeff? I hope you feel better. Kids, don't smoke. Really, don't do it. But if you were to do it, just know that it seems to make a pretty good tyrant repellent. Jerry Maslin, certified douchebag and employee of Wayland Engineering, it will likely come as little surprise that this guy is a former cop, a lieutenant of the New Hampshire State Police until 2016, when he presumably retired. The chief denies being contacted by Wayland, but I'd bet money these two blue line gangsters are drinking buddies, and some form of private communication was conveyed. It feels even more obvious with this wink wink nudge nudge moment here. Now that you're here, yeah, I received several phone calls of people from our facility concerned of this individual filming them. Who knows what was going through the chief's mind when he chose not to de-escalate the encounter, instead watching it all from his patrol vehicle down the street. Hey, I appreciate you de-escalating that, chief. I really do. You're a fucking asshole, let me just tell you. No, I don't need your bullshit, dude. Go. Get the fuck out of here, dude. You dismissed, dude. The chief goes and talks to Maslin, but the context of this interaction is unknown. He then drives down the road to the health center, who apparently have just generated their own call to dispatch, conveniently enough. Hey, listen. These guys did call, and they don't want you on their property. Dude, why do you keep giving me directives, bro? I know what public property and trespassing no, and no, private no, property this, is, dude. This, this medical it's not necessary, dude. I'm just telling you, they don't want you there. Well, there was a call generated then, right? Yeah, sure. So why did you lie to me, chief? Just now. Oh, just now? Yep. Oh, really? This doesn't really make sense, as the health center is around the corner and out of view, and press didn't go anywhere near their property. It almost smells like a conspiracy brewing here. Got the chief of police, Connors, out here. And uh, he said that he did not get a generated call. He was just driving by. I'm pretty sure that that's a lie right off the bat. And uh, we're gonna try to figure that out. The video of this audit wouldn't be published for a couple of weeks as Press was waiting on his public records request so that he could include them in his video. His quest to obtain these records from Police Chief Connors is where the real shit show begins. Press NH now would email a freedom of information request to Chief Connors the same day of the audit, specifying radio comms, cambacks, the narrative report, 911 or other call audio, and finally email and text communications. The Chief's email reply is an attempt to add undue burden, being intentionally difficult by refusing to send the records via email. This is a violation of New Hampshire's right to know law, not to mention playing loose with the Fourth Amendment. It feels like either petty retaliation or he really has something to hide. Tired of playing games, Press makes the two-hour drive to Charlestown to pick up his records and confront the chief. The encounter would end with Press being arrested in the police station lobby, and it all went down on live stream. Oh, how'd they know? Can I help you? Hi. Hi. I'm here to pick up some records. Okay, and your name? I didn't get that. Yeah, when they ask you, can I help you, they don't really mean that. Where is the chief, anyway? Today. Yeah. I'm not sure. Patrolling our town. Is he? Yeah. yeah. Hiding somewhere in the woods, parking lot or something? He shouldn't be. No. Okay. And why are you recording it? What do you mean? You're recording, aren't you? No. There you are. This is it right here. Security notice. Activities on the premises of being audio and video recorded. Okay, yes, my lobby's recorded. For yeah, can you? Do you mind shutting that off then? I don't have the authority to. Okay. You don't have the authority to tell me to. Be right here. What uh what is this entailing? What records? I have no idea. Well, I'd like to speak with him because he didn't even contact me about what records I'm picking up. And where's my audio recording? I can request for him to come here. Please do. You have a seat. I'll stand, thank you. What's your name? Well, dispatcher 400. What's your name? Dispatcher 400. That's not your name. That's your ID number. What's your name? Dispatcher 400. You're gonna refuse to give me your name? I don't know, guys. You want to figure out her name? You could ask if you'd like. Everything's in the description for you. Karen, is that it? What is in here? This doesn't feel like a recording, guys. Oh, and look at that. My name's on it. My full name is on this, right? And you guys make me come down here. Unbelievable, guys. So remember the list of records press requested? This was all he received. The narrative report from the health center's call to dispatch, which is riddled with inexcusable typos and literally doxes him, and the chief's canbacks in their vertical noob style glory. The remaining items are not even addressed. I think they need to learn about public record laws. I don't know, hear him ring guys. She don't look too busy over there. What's your direct number? 
It is, isn't it? Yeah. No, they were asking. That's all. They may have some questions for you guys. Guys, if you have any questions, you can, uh, what is it, 401? 400? You could ask uh, Dispatch 401 or whatever the hell it is, what her name is. Maybe she'll let you know after the 100th ring, maybe. That's okay. You guys do not have to call. The public has some uh, questions and concerns, and I think they want to ask you. They're going to learn today, guys. Let me tell you. Where's my uh, communications? Where's my radio? Where's my audio? Where's all my pitches? Look at guys. He literally printed them out. But I also asked for any radio communications. They have all my information, but they wouldn't email this to me. Violating public records laws, huh? RSA 91A. You guys are going to learn today, aren't you? I take public records requests very seriously. But I'll make you drive two hours away to get them, though. And your name is also public record. Okay. So what is your name? A dispatcher 400. That's all I'm told I have to give out. No, you're wrong. Okay. Now I'm going to pull your salary, too. I'm going to make that public. Sure. Come to find out, it's on the report. And it's on the envelope. My full name. They already know who I am. And I never gave it to them. They know all my information. They know where it goes. They're not busy enough here anyway in Charlestown. I was in town for almost 45 minutes and didn't even hear dispatch go off, so. So yeah, guys, you do not call. Oh, there's Chief Connors. Here he is. Tyrant Patrol. Hey, Mark, what can I do for What's you? What's going on, Connors? So you do know who I am after all, huh? I found out, yeah. Yeah, you found out, but why what did you, I do for you? Why did you make me drive here two hours for papers? That's what you wanted. That's I want radio question. communications I asked for, too. I don't have that. You have zero radio I have communications. nothing else for you except for that. You didn't say anything on dispatch regarding yeah, that call. Have, listen to me. I have nothing else to show you. You know what's funny, Chief Connors? If you want anything else, you call can number. Report. Hold on, Chief. You're going to listen, okay? No. Call number 21-5969. You said you weren't dispatched out there. Second, where is my audio? Read it. I don't want to read it. That's you didn't even cool. tell me what I was coming here to get. That's what you asked for. No, I right, did listen, not. I asked for I'm a lot. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not going no, back and forth. No, no. We are going to go back and forth. You're going to sit here and listen to what I have to say, and a thousand other people are going to tell you exactly what to so, say. So listen to me. No, I'm not going to listen to you, Chief. Okay, I asked you. For, I asked you for certain records, okay? You responded with, what is your name? Where do I send it to? I take, vi uh, I take emails very seriously for FOIA requests, which is bullshit. Okay, because you made me drive out here for two two hours to drive out here to get public record that you could email that says it in the statute. Okay, that you can and will email it when I ask. Hold on a second. Do you have a bunch of people calling in that this guy incited? I did not incite it. I told them do not call. No, I did not. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Did, he, did you hear him say that? I said, do not call. Okay. Look at my video. You're live with 600 people watching. 700 people. Well, you're going to get arrested for... Oh, am I really? Yeah, you better do your investigation and watch a live stream, Listen, Connors. You got 700 stop. people. Stop. No, I will not stop, Connors. Are you detaining arrest. me? I am. I'm under arrest. You're under arrest. For what? For obstructing... I am not doing that. I am not making around. those phone calls. Turn around, put your hands I am not making those phone calls. Turn around. Guys, do not back. call... Turn around and put your hands behind your back. I'm not resisting, guys. Do not I'm being resist. under arrest, guys. Do not call Charlestown Police Department. I did not incite these phone calls. I said do not call Charlestown Police Department. I said if you have any questions or grievances, you can call dispatch on your own. Okay. I never told them. You hear this? Guys, do not call. I do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Okay, well, you're under arrest, so I'm searching you consent to I arrest. do not consent to any searches or seizures of my property. Guys, do not call the Charlestown Police Department regarding my unlawful arrest and detainment.
The unlawful arrest was witnessed live on YouTube by hundreds of disbelieving viewers, many of whom would continue calling the station an outrage. After a couple of hours, Press fired up his live stream once again. Yeah, I'm good, guys. I'm all right. They let me go. PR bail, obstruction, uh, obstructing government administration. Class A misdemeanor. Unbelievable, guys. I always tell you guys to do not call. That's it. I have no choice after that. It's not up to me. People need to understand that, you know? People make their own choices. Apparently, uh, people were calling in on their own free will. And I got arrested for it, you know? And I'm not mad at you guys. It's cool. Um, definitely not mad at you guys. I want you to know that. Yeah, he really went from zero to 100 real quick, guys. Um, like I said, he didn't even detain me. Never mind. Do a formal investigation. The only bail condition says that I cannot be on this property. I ain't backing down. I'm still here. And I'll go to court on this. So yeah, there's not much action over here. I just want to let you know that I'm, I'm free. I'm back at it. I'll be back at it tomorrow. Press would immediately go to work editing his next video, eager to get the word out about the tyrant police chief. Perhaps already sensing the rampant corruption in this town, he would soon find out that this was just the beginning. Where there's smoke, there's usually fire. So Press was arrested and released on the 27th and published the Wayland audit video the next day. The video would include what public records he actually received and now his unlawful arrest as well. The audit video would have an even greater reach than the live stream had and concerned viewers would continue calling the Charlestown PD to express their indignation over the arrest, overwhelming the department's communications for a number of days. It is a citizen's First Amendment right, of course, to redress their government, and it's not like you need to read the description or look in the chat to find the phone number when it's right there on their own website. Now with Charlestown on everyone's radar, the town would be under unprecedented scrutiny. Press was now getting insider tips from local viewers, hinting at further corruption needing to be investigated. Showing that an arrest won't deter him, Press returns to C-Town the very next day to audit the town hall. How you doing? Good. What's your name? What's your name? It's right here. Diane? Yeah. Where's Diane? Hey, I need to pull some records, so open the window. I need to open records request. Please. I can't make a records request? The what? I can't hear you. You can't hear me? Oh, you're a funny one, huh? Dude, you got you got like a thousand people laughing at you right now. Yeah, you should probably put your dentures back in. I'm Jeff the janitor. Jeff the janitor? Oh, okay. He's dressed like one. Jeff the janitor acting like security. Um, did you guys have an emergency board meeting regarding me? No, we did not, sir. That's not what I heard. You that did. meeting on Wednesday. Was it? Was scheduled special for you. Yes, it was. It was already scheduled. Yeah. If you look at the You made an website, exception sir, for me, though. That's all. We meet every Wednesday. That's okay. So, they talked about you, yes. I know. Okay. So, I'd like to pull all records regarding that. Sir, <clears throat> you are interrupted. Don't, Normal don't course, touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch Exit me. Exit the door. No, you I'm not. I'm actually, I'm pulling no, public you're records. you're interrupting. The no, operations I'm of the town. No, I'm not. Get out of my face. You're in smells. my face. No, now you listen, came out you're, here. You're, you're interrupting the process of our normal business operations. I am conducting we my business. We have heard you request. Go ahead and request in writing yeah. a 918 request. Okay. Go right ahead. All right. How do you know meantime, all about that? And you're the janitor. <clears throat> well, Don't touch me. You get out of, the, out of here. No, I won't. Okay. We'll get the police down. Go ahead. Call Connors. <laughs> You're so cute. Call Connors. You're so cute. Call Connors, buddy. I'd love to see him again. You would. You it's would. all right. You'll be writing the check pretty soon anyway. What a joke. All right. I need a piece of paper and a pen, please. That's your problem. I need a piece of paper and a pen, please. That's your problem. Excuse me. And he did put his hands on me, guys. What's your name again? Jack? Jeff the janitor. Jeff the janitor, huh? <laughs> this is Jeff the janitor, guys. Yeah. You should probably mop something or sweep the floor or clean the windows instead of harassing me. <laughs> Unbelievable. Took about 10 minutes to get this piece of paper. Keep hitting that like button, guys. I'm not done here yet. This is going to be a long audit, I'm telling you now. Imagine you're a government official, some politician, for a small town's local government, perhaps. 
And only days ago, a scandal has broken out in your town involving the police chief. Many, many people are upset about it and actively letting town officials know how they feel. You might address the people, acknowledging their concerns, publicly condemn the chief's actions, and make some kind of promise to remedy the situation. Except you're corrupt, just like the police chief is. So instead, you double down on the bad behavior. This guy is not the janitor. This is the chairman of the select board, which is basically like being the mayor in a town this size. Let's watch how he runs things here in Charlestown. I'm standing here. Mind your business, Jeff. Put him on a leash, will you? No, I'm not giving it to you. You're a janitor, dude. No. What do you have there? I'm giving it to Jessica. It's none of your business. Dude, will you tell him to leave me alone, please? What do you have He's a janitor, right? Tell him to go sweep a floor. if you don't, you don't want to address it, give it to us. You want to get out of my face, please? I'm not here for you. I don't want to speak with you. That's your problem. I'll tell you when I need business from you. You're going to tell me. You can come to my house and go clean my toilet if you'd like. Oh, aren't you something? But you can't help me here. Oh, you're so high in my... Jessica, can you please take this request? Thank you. You want a copy of it? Not from you. Not from me. No. No. Keep drinking your coffee, buddy. Back off. <laughs> Jeffrey the jerk off. That's what they're calling you. Is that right? Mm, yeah. Unbelievable. Thank you, Ozai. Oh, Appreciate so, it. Can you terrible. tell him to move? Can I? No. Yeah. Can no. I have a copy of this also, please? <clears throat> Thank you. Your business done for today? Not at all. Not at I'm all. I'm just getting started, Jeff. You're just getting started. Just getting started, buddy. Oh, good for you. Just getting started. Good for you. Oh, Jeff Lessels? Are you Jeff Lessels? Oh, so you're a select board member. Oh, see? Ah, there you go. He's not the janitor. He acts like a janitor, even though it's, he's a select board member. See, this is how your select board in Charlestown, New Hampshire, is treating the member of the public. I can't wait to take this town to court. I can't wait. Write out the check now, Jeff. Jeff the janitor Lessels. Where are you from, sir? Me? Yes. I don't answer questions. You don't answer questions. Yeah. So you just ask questions. So you answer. work for me. I work for you. You do. Are you a citizen of town in Charlestown? I need to live here to get business from you guys. Oh, do you have a proof of residency? How did I put in a FOIA request with this town if I don't live here? You know why? Do I not have access you know to why? this? You know why? I have to live here to get services from you. Is that what you're telling me? What if I wanted to buy a house here? Here we go. You want to get tough again? Are you serious? Dude, are you kidding me? Are you serious? Guys, look at this. Look at this. That's assault. That's assault. He's assaulting me. He's assaulting me. Get your hands off of me. Get your hands off of me now. Out the door. Get your hands off of me now! Out the door. Are you fucking kidding me? Is this a joke? Dude, get your hands off of me now! Don't touch my shit! Guys, he's assaulting me! S send an officer here now! You're fucking, you're fucked. You're fucked, Jeff. Give me my property now! Give me my property now! Call the police department and tell them to come here now. I've just been assaulted by Jeff Lessels. He just physically assaulted me. Give me my property now. Give me my property now. Now they're locking me out of the door. I still have records I need to pull, guys. I'm filing charges on him right now. No, he's probably not gonna get in cuffs, guys. He's not going to get in cuffs. He's got my property right now. He's got my gimbal. This is out of control, guys. Share this stream now. Everybody needs to see this right now. They're pissed because I'm going to be suing the shit out of Charlestown, New Hampshire. They're pissed. This is going to look great for my lawsuit, Charlestown. I love it. Fucking tyrants. Tyrants, dude. The chairman of the select board wants to beat down a citizen and steal their property on camera in the middle of town hall. There is no other word to describe this place other than corrupt. The selectmen, the police chief, hell, even the dispatcher's a piece of work. Shit rolls downhill, as they say, which becomes even more apparent with this next encounter. I want to file a uh, criminal report, please. 
I just been assaulted and my property stolen from one of the select board members in there. I want to file a police report right now and I want charges filed. Are you going to file the report? Are you going to file the report? I'm asking you. What you're going to do? Is What's your name and badge number? I'm not. What's your name and badge number? I just been assaulted. Okay. I'm a little uh, well, let's turn, he, anxious right now. Safe right now so no, I don't feel safe in front of the police. I was just uh, legal, illegally assaulted. Uh, I know, I know, from Connors the other day. I know you know all about it. So if you want to make a complaint, you give me a statement, I'll follow up on it. But I need a statement. We start with the statement. You know what? Call the state police. I, d I don't trust any of you. you no, I'm not. The Call the state. state police will not, you know, they will not handle a complaint this time. Why? It's a state police. It doesn't work that way. Call the sheriff's then. Nope. The sheriff's won't either, huh? Call the sheriff. Sull Sullivan County Sheriff won't come out here and take a report? I'm willing to take a complaint. If you don't want no, to I don't trust. I don't trust Charles Sound PD. Call Can you call the sheriff's department for me, please? You can't call it. I want my property out of there now. They won't arrest him. They're not going to arrest him. Oh, you leaving the scene? Don't leave the scene, Jeff. Jeff, don't leave the scene. Don't leave the scene, Jeff. Don't touch my personal property. Oh, like you did with me? Exactly. Exactly. Oh, you just admitted that, huh? No, I sure did. Oh, you sure did, huh? Got him on film saying that he legally he just assaulted me. Okay. Jeff's going to be added to the lawsuit now, too. It's all retaliation, guys. They're pissed. This is a corrupt town, and they hate it. They hate it. Is that my property that uh, he uh, strung on for me? So you're not going to arrest him then, huh? I offered to take a statement from you. What does that matter? If I assaulted him, I'd be in cuffs, wouldn't I? Nope. You're all right, Wood. You know it. I'm, you know it. I'm a witness and missed me, right? I did not witness it. Oh, so because you didn't witness it, I don't get arrested? You can give me a statement, I'll follow up on it. No, I'll follow up with the That's state great. police and the sheriff's department. Are they on their way? Nope. No, they're not, huh? All right. Tyrant. You guys are going down. All your corruption, too. State police right here. Yeah, there was an assault, and uh, I don't trust them. They already retaliated against me the other day, okay? The, uh, Charles Hump, the chief of police arrested me, okay, for obstructing yeah, government. Yeah, I saw the video. You did see the video. I didn't. I don't, look, I can't trust them, okay? Ooh, the, the Charlestown Police Department. Okay. All right, they've already retaliated against me. No, I'm talking to him. You stay where you are. A state trooper arrives and actually provides assistance, underscoring just how worthless the local Charlestown police are. This guy has even seen the videos, and apparently everyone else has too, as indicated by the first of many bootlicker trolls here who start coming out of the woodwork. Can you guys see oh, really? You're a bootlicker too, huh? Huh. Holy shit. We got a bootlicker here, guys. All right, then. So don't, don't assume about what I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Oh, so you know all about it, then. You know all about what I'm doing. Something like that, yeah. Is this not a free fucking country, buddy? Do I have to live here to come here? All right, then. So just mind your business or you sound fucking dumb, bro. You sound stupid. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe, buddy. It's exactly what uh, what I came here to find, and uh, they handed it to me on a silver platter. Corruption, right at the top, all the way down to Charlestown PD. We'll see how the state police do, though. Everybody in there is a witness to it. Everybody. I didn't incite anything. He went straight hands-on. Pushed me, punched me, pushed me, grabbed me, pushed me into the corner of the glass there, took my uh, equipment, Lock the door. If the top of the select board member is going to put hands on me, imagine what everybody else is going to do. This Charlestown, New Hampshire is corrupt all the way to the top. Right here. It starts right here and it works its way down, guys. Oh, he's flicking me off. On, hey, asshole. Who are you? you call me a fucking asshole. Yeah, you called me a fucking dipshit. Yeah, I did. Yeah, you did. Oh, you want to assault me too? Yeah. Go ahead. Beat your fucking Go ahead. Head. You won't do it. Fuck out. Do it. Do it. I'll take one step back. Now I'm retreating. You come at me and touch me. Now you're breaking the law. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, are you looking around? You're live streaming with like 3,000 people, buddy. Go ahead. I'm fuck every one of them. Go ahead. I'm fuck every do one. Do something, of them. tough guy. I am. Fuck, See all these I'm fucking tough guys fucking... that won't do a fucking thing? Dude. Nothing. They won't do shit with or without a camera. Do it. Go ahead. Do something. Oh, you're going to take a picture? See, this is what they do, guys. This makes them feel better. Get the hell out of here. You're a joke just like every other snowflake. Screw. What's your license plate? 478-6404. Toyota Tacoma. Let's get the VIN. 
What else is in there? Oh, he smokes Newport. You got a Newport, buddy? Yeah. See what I'm running into in this corrupt fucking town? It's corrupt all the way from the top down. Listen. And the citizens. Hey, and you're parking illegally. Move that shit box, will ya? You parked illegally, dude. Bye. Drive a shame, buddy. See you later. They protect themselves. That's what I'm saying, man. This is where transparency comes in. This is where accountability comes in. I've been assaulted, a, a member of the of the public. Just because I don't reside here and live here doesn't mean I can't come here. Probably gonna get a lot of trolls out here. It's all good, though. I'm ready for anything, so. He definitely just came up to me and put his hands on me. Straight up. Life, yeah, you too, buddy, you bootlicker. Charlestown is pissed. So everything you said seems to be true, you know, obviously. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, he admits he put his hands on me. Yeah, he so. did right out here again when I saw him. My so he admitted to the assault. He admitted to the assault. Okay. Yeah, yeah he admitted to the assault, yeah. So, wow. Yeah. You have bail conditions because of the arrest the other day, which... Over at the police department. Yeah. yeah. Which tells you you can't, if you do, it says you can't be on any town property unless there's an emergency. That's not so they property. trespassed me from every public building in Charlestown? That's, That's not even legal, dude. That's not even legal. That's, uh, that's just the way the It's not even legal, bro. That's just, the way, that's just what the bail <laughs> This is so fucking corrupt in this town. It's so corrupt, bro. They can't do that. See, they're trying to hide their corruption. They don't want me on their properties now. This whole fucking town is corrupt. And, uh, and now I know exactly why. Soon after this, Press would visit the Department of Justice and the Office of the Attorney General to file a formal complaint with an investigator, urging them to look into the small town's corruption. It's clear now from the arrest, the assault, the trespass, and the bootlicker trolls that he is not wanted here. Obviously, that only motivates him to come back sooner. Everything that's happened so far has been right out in the open, in broad daylight. But like most things wicked, the real evil comes out at night. The following week, there's a regularly scheduled select board meeting. Notably absent is board chairman and violent criminal Jeff Lessels, as is the public comment section of the meeting, which is conspicuously passed over. The draconian conditions of Press's bail now prohibiting him from entering any town buildings. Two fellow auditors would attend the meeting in his stead, breaking the flaw and footloose from absolute defiance. Both also activists from New Hampshire are here, of course, to back up Press as well. The viral nature of the YouTube videos and the resulting negative spotlight now cast upon the town has many locals perceiving Press NH now as a threat. Bootlicker trolls are popping up more frequently and tensions are at an all-time high. One such impressively dedicated troll would proceed to pester flaw throughout the entire meeting, imposing immature and unprovoked comebacks. Afterwards, a crowd convenes outside. Once Press NH is spotted, he's immediately confronted by a dentally challenged, yet nonetheless outspoken and passionate Charlestown loyalist. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? You were just parked in front of my house! I don't care. What the fuck's wrong with I don't you? Care. Now I know where you live. Huh? Welcome to America! I know America. I'm born here, motherfucker. Okay, so we can park where the fuck we want. You can't park on private property. Oh, give me a break. You want to be a YouTube side. You talk about town managers in this town? Are you kidding me? You need way more town? than that. Get out of this town. You don't you belong here. That you lady. don't belong you here. We all belong wherever we want. This is America. Go to North Korea if you don't want it. If you want to stay home all day, go to North Korea. Wait till your taxes go up because of your police department. When your taxes are going up, right, go cry to Connors and Jeff Lessels. Go cry to them when your taxes are going up. Don't cry to me. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. It ain't my fault. What does the chief fault. have to do with this? He's covering up crimes for his son. I know a lot more than you guys know, believe me. No, you might want to watch your mouth. Wait, wait. That is his son. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care who you are. Don't touch him. You don't scare me. Your fucking dad don't fucking scare me either. I know all about you, bro. But I'm going to take this whole fucking him? town down with me, too. Yeah, Watch. you ain't going to do oh, shit. Yeah. You just got arrested for being a bitch. It's all good. It's all great. I'm still fucking here, ain't and I? you're still a I'm bitch. I'm still here, ain't and I? you're still a bitch. I'm still here. Oh, the whole fucking town can come out here. That's right. Come at me. We will. Come at you me. You don't belong come here. Come at me. Don't belong here. Do something. Get now. out. Hey, Make me. Like Make country. me. Anybody could fucking go anywhere in this country. Right. This That's you right. You don't belong here, Go to North Korea. Move to town. North Korea. This is my town, motherfucker. I'll pay for your fucking I live in this goddamn town. None of you. I'll pay for your fucking fucking you don't. Your I live in this country. I don't live in this town. See, that's the difference. That's the difference. I work in this town. I don't give a shit.
I don't care. You're, You're nothing. Care. How, you don't know anything My about me. Yeah, actually, I care. You know Whatever. nothing. Okay, okay. You know nothing That's about me. I know wait, right. wait, I know you wait. Just got arrested the other day. It's all good. It's shit. all good. And I get seven other trials. I'm going to get them too. You're not going to win about this. Okay. Your, right. You should be upset about your officials, not you this guy. Shit? I'm not upset about this my officials. Okay, well, you're going to be paying for it for their actions. You get that. No, they don't get that. They don't get that until until they have another town meeting, right, regarding Connors. And his bullshit that he's pulling around here, all of it's coming out, okay? And it's not fair to you guys. And you have no idea what you're even you dealing with here. You have no idea. I and then bad. Jerry it's fucking Lessels, who wants to go hands on, you think that's not going to get a lawsuit? You're fucking I just insane. Got a settlement from you're insane, bro. Why? Because of a camera? Why? Because, because I'm catching because corruption, bro? I was wrong? Come on, man. I'm hiding behind a camera? Really? Really? You know nothing, bro. This camera don't mean shit. This ain't my protection, bro. Shit. This ain't my protection, bro. Turn the camera. Oh, wait. Oh, you want to go around back? Really? You're fucking nothing, dude. You're nothing. Your dad's nothing, bro. Turn your camera off. Just All right. Saying. I don't even care, dude. Why? Oh, his dad's going to come over here and bail his ass out? Just saying, bro. Hey, hey, I've been arrested You're not less. You're not in I've been arrested Dude, I know all about your bullshit at school. I know all your bullshit on the side of the road. I know all of it, dude. I know all of it, bro. Your father's been covering up all your bullshit your whole life, dude. The fun is over, dude. The fun is over, bro. Everybody's coming out here telling me everything, dude, that's going on in this town. You guys need to fucking be on it, not against it, dude. You're fighting the wrong person, bro. I'm on your team. I'm on your team. No, you don't understand, dude. I'm on your team and you have no idea. You're blind, dude. You're blind. No, I'm not. You're blind. Dude, I don't just come to this town. I go all over the place. Yeah, it's easy. All right? I and I do it for a reason. And the reason is it's because we have rights to do it. We have every right to watch our government, dude. And when it's corrupt, we have every right to bring that to light. I'm gaining access to a lot of sources out of people that are telling me shit, okay? And it's all going to come out, dude. All right? It's going to come out. What's going to come out? All of it. All of it. Dude, the Department of Justice is already on this shit. Okay? The, the attorney general is already on this, good dude. It is not good for you. It's not. You don't understand. They're it's not good for you. For because your public officials are corrupt. And if they weren't corrupt, you wouldn't have to foot the dime. They have no idea what I just walked into, man. People are going to start standing up around here because they're scared of your father. And that shit is sealed, dude. That's gone, dude. It's not happening anymore, dude. It's not happening anymore, bro. Where's your dad? Not Where, where's he hiding? I'm not his fucking keeper. Where's he hiding? Where's he hiding? You're here. Why are you here? And he's not. Why am I here? Are you? Are you I go by and saw your bitch ass out here running your fucking. Oh, is that what you want to do? Yeah. Come on, dude. Camera or not, bro. I ain't scared of nothing, bro. It's all right. More and more and more of the people that live in Charlestown are going to be speaking up on my behalf of what I opened up in this town, and it's not going to stop until everything is gone and everybody that don't belong in this town are gone. You don't belong in this town. It's not your town. Seriously. It's our town. It's you our country. I don't belong here. Look at that. See? The chief of police's son coming out here calling people to fight out back. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Who the fuck does that guy think he is? No lights. Speeding. 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 Look at it. Look at it. People are pissed. Yeah. Crazy, huh? See, dude. You weren't, you weren't kidding about the corruption, I, dude, I bro. You were not kidding. I thought Manchester was bad. Jesus. Yeah, it's clearing out, so. I Yeah, I'm going to stay live for just a few more minutes on the way out. All right. Yeah, until we get to the car. You better believe that. We're going to stay recording until we get to the car. Going to make sure we don't get ambushed or anything like that. Having sparked a fiery outrage among the intolerant yokels of Charlestown, the gang now face the very real possibility that they may not make it out of town in one piece. After all, if the town officials could commit retaliatory violence and get away with it, what in the hell is stopping the citizens of the town from attacking you? What plays out next is a chilling and downright creepy misadventure. The events unfolding over several hours across multiple YouTube live streams. 
The tension already palpable, the gang will find themselves unable to escape town and with an audience of thousands struggling to maintain OPSEC, with their adversaries likely watching too from the shadows, knowing their every move, and ultimately being faced with the unthinkable question, what would you do if you found yourself stranded after dark in a town where no one wants you, where enemies have already made threats against you, being actively stalked and harassed, your property vandalized, you are literally stranded with no escape, unable to call the police because even they can't be trusted, and realizing that no one is coming to help you, what do you do? I'm actually gonna wait for them to leave. I don't want them following me. I really don't. Crazy, crazy, crazy. It is crazy. And uh, now we, you know, we're gonna try to get out of town here. And uh, that's gonna be fun. There's only one way out because they blocked the road that way. Yeah, so we're gonna walk around town real quick and. Um... Yo, what is he doing, man? I told him to come on. Flaw! Flaw! Yeah, I don't want him getting caught up by himself over Yo! There. What? Damn, man. I'm not waiting for him, dude. I've already told him like three times. I don't know if he's just going to take it off or what. So, yeah, everybody. The way that this whole thing went down, we don't know what is going to happen. Anything could happen right now. For real. Got it. Like, this is the fucking time we have to be vigilant. Okay, so, and I'm not, dude, out of all the audits you've ever done, okay? yeah. this is the most important right now, dude. You're not understanding. Let's fucking keep ourselves on our toes dude, and keep our fucking eyes open at all times. Anything could happen right now. Something bad could happen. Be you guys ready to be followed. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need to get the fuck out of here, so let's do it. Let's go. And I let's don't get it. I know, that's okay, but they don't know that. They don't know that. Hey, stay live, will ya? All right, guys, I'm going to stay live just in case anything happens. Hold on, I want to make sure he gets in his car. You know, we're going to do our little uh, getaway here, so... Hey, somebody creeping through the alley there. So we're going to make a break for it. We're going to kill this stream, everybody. We're getting a ride out of here, guys. We got a subscriber, man. I appreciate it. Helping us out. So, I am going to keep alive right now until I get out. All right, you ready, bro? Thank you, man. They want to flatten my fucking ties, bro. Yep, slash ties. It's all good, bro. I don't give a fuck. See what I'm dealing with? See that bullshit? Chief son and his crew, I bet. I have to get a toad out of here, and that's all right. I'll get two ties in the morning. I know the trolls are watching. They can laugh all the way to the fucking bank when I'm cashing the check in this town. Get out of my town. Fuck off. I got it, I'm sure you do with a face like that. And you married 10 years. How's your car? Yeah, it's doing great. I got two more. You can have my town now. Oh, I thought you wanted me out so bad. Now I'm staying for the night, honey. I don't give a fuck who did. I really don't. I don't really care. It don't bother me. Now I'm just gonna be back more with more people. That's it. That's all you're doing. Yo, did you call the state? No, I don't call the Guys, you are about to be a accomplice of all this if you continue. An accomplice of what? See, honey, I know all the cops in this town. I know. Every cop in this town knows who I am. It's all good. I don't care. You obviously You don't do. bother me. You want me gone so bad, my tires have popped. That's not my problem. And so now I'm not leaving. This is my town. Hello? Yo. What's up, man? Yeah, I need him to turn around. We need you to come back. We got two flat tires. 
Are you serious? Yeah. Dead ass. Oh, fuck. Where, whereabouts are you? Same oh, spot. Pizza. Oh, fuck. That's these two cocksuckers over here. Can I fucking help you? You know, you're distracting a driver, which is illegal, right? Go fuck yourself. I'm not fucking myself. Cocksuckers. Um, I need a uh, trooper to come out here to file a report on. Um, you have no troopers on duty. Why is that? So I need the sheriff's out here. Can you please help me out with that? You cannot. What's your name? What's your name? Fucking tyrant. You're a fucking piece of shit. That's what you are. State police guys are not coming out. State police are not coming out now. There's another troll. Yep, another troll. Dude, watch your six, bro. These two? On the left, on the right side, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, two on the right. Let me talk to him. So I need uh, I need a sheriff to come out here um, to Charlestown to take a report on um, uh, a couple of people vandalized my vehicle. I'm still being followed out here. Yeah, there's multiple people and vehicles following me around town here, and I can't get out of here safe. Nope, that's that truck. There's a truck following me in a caravan. I think the truck is the one who flattened my tires. First of all, what can I do to take this down to the You know, flat guys. Yeah, there's the fucking truck right there, guys. Flash a light on him. 9617. He's been creeping this whole time. There's more and more people. The van, a van, the same van just drove by again. A car just drove by screaming and yelling at me. There's, My tires are popped. There's, there's several people. Three different vehicles at least. Three or four different vehicles keep following me around. Hey, the way I look at it, man, when someone threatens you and then you have damages right after those threats, yeah. that's probably the source. I know. I know. We're just waiting for um, the sheriffs right now. We're going to report this and uh, we're just going to add this bullshit to the case too. This only makes me want to continue going further and, uh, and faster, guys, so... It's not gonna slow me down only for tonight, but that's about it. Tomorrow I'll be right back up and running and uh, just like I will the next day and the next day after that. So they're only gonna make me stronger, guys. Yeah, we're just waiting for the, the police to show up. You know, I don't really call them the police, but when they're the monopoly, sometimes you just gotta have to do that. And especially something like this, like it's a crime what they did. They committed a crime. Destruction of property. I consider that intimidation as well and the threats right before it, they're gonna pay for this. We don't want local PD. Local PD is corrupt. No, the troopers aren't coming out. Um, they actually refuse to come out here. This guy's circling back around. What's this? That's that van. Is that that van? That's that white van, isn't it? Yeah, I'm gonna call him back. Definitely calling him back. Hi, um, sheriffs have already been dispatched out to uh, Charlestown, New Hampshire, and I've been waiting quite a long time with threats driving around to my safety, so I need you guys to come here now. I still have several people around here at town, okay, following me and stalking me and harassing me and popping my tires. You guys need to get over here, like... Whoa, 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 whoa! My God. What, what happened? They contacted Charlestown PD, dude. I told them not to, too. I told them not to either, dude. 
Unbelievable. Yep. Yep. It, it's just they're just playing games right now. Wow. They're playing games. There's a conflict of interest. If I want the fucking sheriffs out here, then they need to come out here. See, Charlestown's being dispatched now. It's a dereliction of duty. I don't want Charlestown PD out here. No, no, no. Stop and listen. You are not going to dispatch Charlestown police. My attorney has advised me not to have contact with them. I'm just gonna check for that guy right quick. Yeah, he's taking a left. I don't really trust that shit at all. I don't trust that shit at all. Fucking hell. Are you shitting me, guys? <laughs> Yo, they just hung up on me and said I'm going to let my officers know. So now I'm probably gonna get shot in the goddamn back. <laughs> I, I don't even know what to do. Maybe that's dispatch. Nope, that's Charlestown Police. Charlestown Police are over there, guys. Dude, get out of here. Get out of here. Go. Get the fuck out of here now. Go. I don't want anything from you assholes. Go. Get out of here. Dismissed. Screw. Get out of here. I don't need your help. I'd rather be dead than call you. They're the whole reason this is all happening, dude. Why would I want them here? All they're doing is making it worse and worse and worse for this town. After nearly three hours of this madness, the Sullivan County Sheriff's finally arrived and take a report. They remained professional, promising that an investigation would begin on the tire slashing incident. Press's vandalized vehicle gets towed away and the auditors will leave Charlestown with their safety intact for now. But knowing these guys, they won't stay gone for long. No one can ever call into question these auditors' dedication. As staying true to their word, they would return to Seatown, literally the very next day. That's right, even after being left stranded and terrorized late into the night, not to mention the two-hour travel time each way, you start to wonder if these guys ever get any sleep. Footloose from Absolute Defiance had his own set of challenges, literally having court the very next day where he was representing himself at his own trial. His story is fascinating and deserves its own video. Press NH now confidently rolls into town on some fresh new treads, while Breaking the Flaw is already here, doing a public records request over at Town Hall. Press is intent on showing the bootlicker trolls that it will take more than a couple slashed tires to scare him away, and that he is, in fact, here to stay. So are the trolls, it seems, and they start up their shenanigans here in a bit. But before dealing with them, let's see if violent criminal Jeff Lessels is available for comment. I think that's him right there. Jeff the janitor's in there? I think so. I think that's him right there. His truck's out there. Good. Straight ahead. With the paper. Yeah, it looks like Jeff. It does look like him, doesn't it? All right, let's take a look. Guys, I, I was wondering if you cleaned the toilets yet. Yeah, it's crazy that uh, he's still working here after assaulting someone from the public and he continues to work here. He steals their equipment and needs the police to take it back from them. But this right here is uh, just the beginning. Yeah, it shows that they're not going to bully me out of here. And uh, I'll come here anytime I want. They're all just getting along with the guy that likes to assault people. and they, I, I wouldn't be laughing with, uh, alongside someone that likes to assault people and get away with it. He should be removed from uh, public services. I don't think he should enjoy his freedoms because he likes to uh, violate other people's freedoms. Hey, make me, bitch! Oh, see the blue truck's back again. Blue truck's back. I wonder what he's here for. Yeah, they can't escape the camera now. Yeah, he keeps circling around. He is definitely just circling around. This is my statement right here today and uh, from last night's escapade. So I'm back at it. They're not going to scare me away. It is like a new movie, right? <laughs> the saga of Charlestown. Oh, is that Jeff right there? Is that Jeff? Oh, you didn't get arrested yet, huh, Jeff? We're working on it, buddy. There's Jeffy. There's the assailant right there. I got a toilet for you to clean. <laughs> I got it real dirty. Jeffy, you piece of shit. Hey, you're off the clock. Why don't you come out here and do it again? You're a YouTube star, buddy. YouTube famous, brother. 
You're gonna cost this town a lot of money. A lot of money. A lot of money. You're done, dude. Yep. I'm not going anywhere, guys. It's just making me come back every day harder and harder, brother. I guess Jeff doesn't have anything to say for himself. He sure was full of quips last week. You're so cute. Call Connor. You're so cute. Maybe he thought he'd never have to answer for his own actions. We'll see about that. The increased bootlicker presence is unmistakable. It's well known by now that they all watch Press's live streams. Here comes one now to commit an assault. It's quite the limp-wristed and half-assed rendition of an assault, but it is an assault nonetheless. How's it going, man? What up, man? What's up? Hey, do not touch him. I'll pepper spray if you touch him. Using my fucking light. Do it again, dude. You're a fucking light. I got it on camera. Get away. Get away from us now. Get away from us. Go. Get the fuck away. Walk. Walk, bitch. Walk, bitch. Walk. Get the fuck out! You're gonna assault him? Get the fuck out! I got on camera! Go! Out! Go! Go on! Go on! Get away! You came here to assault him. I got it all on camera. I saw you approached. I, you don't have to tell me the truth, dude. It's all on fucking camera, and cameras don't lie. Okay, because he was in my way? Hey, okay, keep it up. Hey, fuckhead. You ain't stopping me. Yeah. You're not gonna stop us from exercising our rights. You don't like it here? Move to North Korea! Move to North Korea! See you later, bitch. But you don't do shit. You don't do shit though. But you don't do nothing. Oh, now we got his face. You're nothing but talk to. Little fucking little thug bitch. Trolls are coming, guys. Get them all out here, bro. Get them all out here. I love trolls. Guess what? I'll be back tomorrow too. I could tell right away that guy was a little thug. And he's gonna have to learn a lesson too, just like Jeff. You can't assault people and they can get away with it in America. We have rights, we have freedom. We live free. Trolls are coming out. Bring them on, buddy. Yeah, bring it on. I'm back, motherfucker. The guys think they spot Chief Connor's son across the way, but it turns out to not be him. Press realizes he knows someone who lives on this street. You were just parked in front of my house. Yeah, okay. now I know where you live. Huh? And they head over to go film her house. Before they can get there, the guys are attacked by yet another pint-sized perpetrator. What's with all the misbehaving juveniles this afternoon? Where are all of the adults? Are they still sleeping off last night's crystal bender? Trolls are nothing but talk, dude. They come out here, they try to bully you, and but they never start swinging, bro. They're nothing but talk. All bark, no bite, dude. He did give you some shoulder, though. It's all good. What, what's that? It's just like a bitch move, Go though. Shoulder me. It's a care. bitch move. It's like... You want to stir things up. Is that, that's all he has though, huh? Yeah, for real, for real. They have no bark, no bite, because they ain't got no teeth. Oh, is that the van? <laughs> There's the van, guys, from last night. Can I fucking help you? Go fuck yourself. I'm not fucking myself. Let's go see, uh, let's go see Toothless. She had a lot of talk last night, but she wasn't telling the tooth. Right. I know, she was so... So happy she knew all the cops in town. Yeah, so this is where, uh, I think that second door, that's where I parked last night. And uh, waiting for the select board meeting to come out. Do something, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah? Oh, you coming over here to talk shit too? No, nah, bitch. That's what they all say, dude. Whoa. There, there you go. go. Through a can. There you go. Oh, see, that's, that's all they got. That's assault. Bro, hey. 11, 1, 2, 6, You're harassing people. Six. That's an assault. That's an assault. You, it doesn't matter, dude. What a bitch. You knew you were doing was wrong, and you went ahead and did it. Now you're going to get in trouble. I can walk wherever I want, but you can't throw things at me. Actually, I have a right to the citizen's arrest right now if I wanted to. Honestly, I'd go home and tell your parents what you did, because you're underage, you said, right? Actually, technically, by you throwing it is assault. You don't have to hit us. You don't have to hit us for it to be assault. Actually, you could just make the threat of assault, and that's assault. Do you understand that? So what you're doing is wrong. Go home, tell your mommy what you did, and let's hope her punishment is light. I hope she takes all your video games away, your Cocoa Puffs, your, your Cheesy Puffs. Take it all away. Take it all away, man. I hope you go home and tell your mommy. Go tell your mommy. Go tell your mommy. Why the fuck you find me? Go tell your mommy. Are you going to approach me? No. Then don't. Because you already tried to assault me. Because I want to tell your mommy now. I want to tell your mommy. All right. I want to tell your mommy. 
But you're acting a lot older than what you are because you think you can stand up to us by throwing shit at us. You don't have the right to do that. You need to learn your rights. You need to learn the rights of others. You need to, you need to chill out, bro. You need to go home. Go home, tell your mommy what you did. Go home, tell your mommy. Don't even give him any more. He, yeah, he's all done. he wants to. He's done. It's all good. Fuck it's all good. I know. I know. But you threw something, right? Sw yeah, swing on me. Swing on me. Swing on me then. Swing on me. You won't. See, that's the difference, dude. You'll throw something from a distance, but you won't Fuck. swing on me. You're swing to, on me. Trying to find a little kid. So, what the, what, the what the fuck? What the fuck? Dude, stop. Stop. Stop it. Eddie threw his phone again. He fucking makes me. Go home. Go home. Go home. You just assaulted us twice. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Leave. Hey. Hey, you. You're an assailant too. You're an assailant too. Get away on your. He just threw his phone. That kid on the bike, that kid on the bike is also an assailant. He's also an assailant. Oh, he just fucking hit him. Shut the fuck up. Dude, you're a fucking moron. And you stand up for rights. Dude, he hit him. I have it on film, you fucking retard. You're stupid. He assaulted him. He threw, he threw bottles at us, and then he came and attacked him. It's on fuck him. him, dude. It's on him. He fucking hit me. He fucking threw me. Fuck you. you fuck all of you. You give a fuck. Fuck all of you. Fucking put your hands on me, bro. You're gonna get it. That's right. That's what it works. And you threw shit he first. He acted like an adult. He acted like an adult right there. You guys are acting like fucking adults. The fuck oh, out yeah? of here. Watch our videos and you'll find out who started shit. Stop. 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 You should back up. Back up. Back up. It's all right. It's all good. Pick it on. He threw cans of soda at us. He threw two He approached us, threw stuff at us, and then he assaulted him. Look at those damages, guys. He's bleeding. Totally with Call the fucking cops. I'll show them the video. It's all live. All on camera. Here they are. Fucking unbelievable. Oh, great. Chief Connors himself is on the scene. This situation can only be improved with his presence, right? He got here so fast, I'm picturing him watching the live stream from his cruiser while parked around the block. Now, I would never condone harming a minor in any way. No, that would just be wrong. But it doesn't mean I can't laugh at it, especially if they have it coming. This little bastard, having been raised in a culture of amorality where criminal acts routinely go unpunished, took it upon himself to commit acts of violence against these two men. Seeing his ass laid out on the sidewalk a minute later is not only hilarious, it's the definition of instant karma. Dude, hands went on, that's what happened, and I sprayed him. I didn't touch him, he threw cans- off of the car. He threw cans of soda at us, we retreated. Which one? I don't know, he went in a car, they just left. I don't know. I don't know, but the, the lady- Connors, look, I'm not here to fuck with I, anybody, I okay, Connors? Listen, I understand. I, I hope so, Connors. Can I get you an ambulance, seriously? I, I really can care less. At least let him check you out. Conflict of interest, dude. I don't want to hear it, bro. I don't want to hear it, dude. Call the state police. No, fuck you, Connors. Last night, okay, my tires were slashed because of you. It all started with you, Connors. No, I don't need your help. You didn't start with help. You ain't gonna end it with help. You, you were just gonna. I can see that you've been in an office. Oh, now you give a fuck about me, really? Now you care about me, Connors? I just want to make sure that you're okay. Seriously, I'm not out. You know what I mean? Fuck. You think I'm out here trying to just spray people? No. I think that you're out here filming because that's what you do. Fine. Yeah, and the whole fucking town, you got riled up because of your bullshit. Okay, listen to me. Can't, dude, this whole town is just digging themselves a bigger hole every time I come here. Today would have never happened if the yeah, last week or the week before at Wayland never happened. All you had to do, Connors, was email me. This would have never happened. I would have never came to Charlestown again. I don't care about that right now. I care about taking care of what is going on right now. Seriously. All right. Okay, Connors. All right. All right? I, that's what I care about, honestly. Okay. All right. I did hear that you got your, your ties smashed. <laughs> did you? Listen. I did talk, you? Yes. I talked to the sheriff's office. They're yeah. Investigating. Are they? Yeah. There's cameras all over town. Dude, you guys are all in it together. Why do you think everybody's acting the way they are now? Look, if I came here and they all left and I did my thing, guess what? I would have already been gone. But all these people want to come out and just and keep pushing me. I don't like it. And I'm going to keep coming back, Connors, until everyone in this town understands where I'm coming from. And until then, I'm not going to stop. 
Dude, I got arrested by you last week. I got assaulted by Jeff Lessels. Then I got my tires slashed all in one week, Connors. All right, do the math. Look at this, guys. I, I looked up some of his stuff and I did some, some research on him and I think I agree with a lot of stuff that you, you're coming from. You know, I think him and I got on the, off on the wrong foot. <laughs> we'll, we'll wait for court on that one. Right. Yeah. So what's that? Two assaults, one arrest, tires slashed, a week and a half. What's going to happen next time? What's going to happen tomorrow, Connors? Huh? What's going to happen tomorrow, Connors? I hope nothing. <laughs> Me neither. I'm not, I don't even want to press charges on the kid. This is a learning lesson for him. I really don't. I don't want to press charges. I don't. He's a kid. But I'm not going to press charges on a 15-year-old kid now that I know he's 15. And like I said, I don't care how old you are. You act like that, you're going to get treated like that. No, I understand. Like I said, he's lucky he didn't get a punch to his face. Uh, I, I think that the, the, the pepper spray is probably an appropriate reaction. Who is what? That makes the minor. Who makes the minor? Yeah. I don't know. Let them know my mother's on her way and she will have a weapon. Be prepared. You, you should probably tell that to the officer so that stuff doesn't really go down. Yeah, no. You fuck with my family, we're gonna fuck with Who is he? So we just received threats from someone just pulling up right behind the police chief and made threats to us. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's roll out. Yeah. I'm done. I'm done today. The citizens of this town can make death threats right in front of the police chief and he won't do anything. You can't make this shit up. I don't know what's more unsettling, that or Connor's ultra nice guy routine all of a sudden. It's uncanny. Maybe he's finally realizing how bad he fucked up and he's trying to run some damage control. I don't know. I don't trust him either way. Press's decision not to press charges was very controversial in the comments section. Perhaps he doesn't have any room for any extra legal issues right now. After all, there is a trial to prepare for. Press NH Now would continue to audit throughout the New England states while awaiting his trial. Other than a retaliatory traffic stop while passing through town, he pretty much steered clear of Charlestown. No, I'm pulling you over. No. Nope. Retaliation maybe on me? Promise I couldn't just... Oh, I didn't f***ing deal with that. His bail conditions having trespassed him from all town buildings, there's no real point in going there if he can't conduct an audit, so he continued to create content elsewhere. And speaking of those bail conditions, his previous visit to town hall would come back to haunt him, even though it wasn't clearly understood at that time. They said you can't be on any town property unless it's an emergency. So they trespassed me from every public building in Charlestown? That's not even legal, dude. An arrest warrant was nonetheless issued for breach of bail, and Press turned himself in on December 14th. This clearly retaliatory, totally unconstitutional charge was just another intimidation tactic. It never stood a chance, though, because the charges were dropped on January 31st, just adding more lawsuit fodder for press in the end. On the flip side, violent criminal Jeff Lessels was finally arrested around the same time, charged with simple assault, a Class B misdemeanor. Press's trial date was ultimately set for October 3rd, 2022. The charge, obstructing government administration, a Class A misdemeanor, punishable by up to one year in jail and a $2,500 fine. The state's prosecutor is the tyrant Jessica Hodgman. I know she's a tyrant because she chose to prosecute this case. She not only condoned the chief's unlawful arrest, she tacked on a disorderly conduct charge just for the hell of it, a month after the fact. Tyrant. A series of plea deals were offered, all of which press summarily rejected. It seems like by the third one, they were practically begging for him to take the deal, but of course he did not. He would take this all the way to trial, like he had promised from the beginning. As the impending court date drew near, press would drum up some last-minute publicity and support by auditing the courthouse the very day before the trial. Mark, I'm going to ask you to leave. So is we'll it? Call the police. Is that the PD? No. Who was it? Are you trespassing me? Is that what you're doing? You can't record in the courthouse. So courthouse. Courthouse. So all of this is the courthouse. Even right here? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Here? So let me ask you, um, if I was to remain here, what would be the arresting charge? Could be looking at criminal trespass. In a public building? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's it. But you're not doing anything wrong right now. We're just talking. Okay. They're saying... That I don't care what they're saying. You're the law. He's not. I understand. I'm asking you, as a law enforcement with arresting powers, if I remain here without leaving under threat of arrest, are you going to arrest me? If it comes to that, then that's what we're going to do. we got people coming in, so let's get out of the way, please. This would be a bench trial, no jury, and Judge Jack Yazinski, in a surprising move, allowed the proceedings to be filmed and live-streamed. The prosecution would call three witnesses, 
The first was Mark Chase, former police chief for the city of Claremont, New Hampshire. This guy was called to testify about a time when Press NH Now did an audit at his PD. I gotta say, it's rather humorous seeing these YouTube videos being played in the courtroom. Because the chief over at Claremont? Well then, if he doesn't come out, guys, you know what to do, right? Same director. My belief is he's directing people that are following him to do something. Yes, you know what to do. It is posted by a viewer by the name of Kurt Rohrquardson, and the comment reads, blow up the phone number. Right now, to go put on his body cam and keep it on in charge for the next 12 hours of the shift. Do you understand? I understand what my duties are, are gonna, what I'm going to do. I'm listening to your complaint, okay. and now I go take action. I, I hope you do. Right. Because I'm going to be watching you guys. And if I get any notifications from anybody in the public, I'm going to come in out here and I'm going to be filing complaints. Yes, file complaint. And I'll have over 15,000 people file complaints too. And then I'll flood your, uh, your, your police department with phone calls. Well, what do you understand that to mean? I understood it to mean that if I didn't take action or, or take this complaint seriously from this person, that, that he would have his followers, and I, I knew it would be a YouTube channel, or believe it to be, and, and he would have his followers flood uh, flood the communication center, which another way is overwhelming. When things flooded, it's usually overwhelmed. And uh, so he's trying to drive a point to me to for me to take that seriously, and I was listening to him at that point. Do you agree that Mr. Mason has a First Amendment right to video his interactions with police? Yes. And his observers or viewers have a right to also be the First Amendment to make complaints if they like? If they like, certainly. Okay. Certainly. Um, I think we saw on the video that was played, um, some of the, the uh, commenters were putting the phone number up themselves. Correct. Okay. Um, it wasn't Mr. Manchin doing it, it was actually his followers. He, he, yeah, he, his voice is here, but he doesn't. He, I, in watching this live stream, there I see no live comments from Mr. Manchin other than his voice and him showing the business card with the phone number. Okay. And would it be fair to say that viewers would have called regardless of what Mr. Manchin said? Possibly, yeah. There's no way to prove that one way or the other. Yeah. Reason, no. and, and the comments he made, um, one of them was, do what you have to do. We don't really know what that means. No, it's subjective to whoever he's speaking to. Exactly. It could mean file a written complaint. Could be. Or an email. It, it could be that statement. Okay. Yeah. And then those viewers may watch the other commenters and see that they're saying, hey, blow up the phones, here's the phone number. And, and the viewers who actually do make a call are responding to the commenters as opposed to just Mr. Manchin. Uh, if you're speaking specifically about those comments on there, yes, but Mr. Manchin does say he's going to flood the phone lines. He didn't actually. When he was telling me yes he didn't actually flood them no he phones. did not no it was viewers yes. well no one flooded the phone lines in this particular case at all okay that's what i'm trying to get to oh okay. yeah so yeah okay i'm sorry case, i'm sorry i missed never happened okay and what he told you was i could make it happen essentially that's how i perceived it as he, he could flood the lines but he didn't do it no next up to the stand is dispatcher 400 what's your name what's your name that's not your name I mean, Serena Relihan. Everyone knows your name now, don't they, honey? She's here to testify about what a terrible, all-consuming nightmare it was the day the phones rang in Charlestown. I feel it needs to be stated that if she had just provided her name like a good public servant, things probably never would have gotten this far. I also think this is someone who takes their job way too seriously. He's reporting, correct? Yes, he was reporting. Um, he did ask at one point my name. I provided my badge number as I was not feeling comfortable at that point to drive further. I also heard him ask his viewers wanting to know what my name was, so that became a ordeal of wanting to figure that out. So you didn't provide your name? I did not. Okay. Why didn't you provide your name? I didn't feel I wanted it advertised on this online forum that I don't know who's on it and just didn't feel adequate. I'm the only person standing in that lobby until my chief was there. Okay. You're the only person in the building. I forgot. And you, at this point, you mentioned the telephones were ringing. Yes, they were. Okay. And was this out of the ordinary? The volume of it, yes. What do you mean by the volume of it? The volume and the content of it. These were all the same brief information about the subject sitting in my lobby and the encounter that was happening, as well as asking what my name was, along with name calling and various items I wish not to recall. <laughs> 
Did she, Carlos have a conversation with you during this interaction? Yes, um, he could tell, as in the lobby, you could hear our phone ringing, just enough that you can tell it was more than normal, and he could hear me answering it as well as the receiver going down. He poked his head in and asked if the individual was inciting said phone calls, and I advised yes. I did tell him yes, the phones were ringing. Yes, it was not any other matter than these viewers seeming to call in that I could tell. I was trying my best to keep up should an actual emergency have come in. Yeah. Chief Connors, after our conversation, went back to the lobby and informed the subject he would be under arrest. And during this time, did the phone calls continue? Yes, they did. And for the phone calls that you were able to answer, what was your understanding of what the callers were seeking? After such arrest, it was everything from calling him a tyrant chief to it's an unlawful arrest to you better release him now to very colorful language tied in with it that I had to get to the point of hanging up on people or trying to transfer to voicemails because I could not keep up with the calls in case any other emergency that was happening in my town was going on. So for the next five hours till you left your shift, the phones continued? They did not stop once. Okay. And are you aware uh, of how long the phones actually did continue nonstop? I believe it was approximately three days because I had stopped up to the department to check in on my fellow dispatchers. Have you ever, in your experience as a child found uh, dispatcher, had the volume of calls coming in? Not for that length of time, no. And in the phone call we listened to, Mr. Mitch made a comment about, if you don't do X, you get a lot of phone calls. Something along those lines, correct? Yes. Um, and you don't know what that means, do we? That, mean, that could have been, if you don't give me the records, I'm going to keep calling. It stated that you're going to get a lot of phone calls, and then again, it was during his live that it said to let him ring, and the phone calls began happening. Okay, but you don't know exactly what he was talking about when he said that. He said a phone call, and phone calls did occur. But that's really just a connection you've made. You don't know what you've meant. That is part of my job as a dispatcher with connecting dots. That is what we do. Part of your job is also to provide your name when asked, but you don't seem to do that very well either. Now it's the moment we've all been waiting for. I bet Chief Connors never imagined this day would come. Thanks to Press NH Now's sacrifice, one can only hope that from now on the Chief will think twice before conducting an emotional arrest. During his testimony, the Chief starts to exhibit this peculiar and distracting facial tic. I know there are a number of tells that criminal profilers and psychoanalysts use to determine if a person is lying. I'm not saying that's what's going on here, but you be the judge. While you were in the lobby talking to the defendant, was there anything else that you observed? I could hear my phones ringing at the police station nonstop. What was, uh, was the dispatcher answering that? There, from what it appeared from outside the window where I was, it looked like she was struggling to keep up with the phone calls coming in. And in your experience, is that an unusual occurrence to have that many phones ringing at once? Yes. Okay. And what did you do when you realized there was an issue with the phones? I excused myself in the lobby and I asked, I, I went to dispatch and asked what was going on. What did you observe when you went in? That all the lines were lit up on the phones. I could see her phone was, was all, the, all the blocks were lit up and I could see her continuing to try to, try to answer the phone. I asked her if the guy in the lobby was inciting people to, to call in and she said yes. So at that point, did you believe, uh, based on your observations and uh, the, the, the events occurring at that time, that uh, the defendant was committing a crime? I did, yes. And what crime did you believe he was doing? Obstructing the report, uh, obstructing government administration. Okay. And what uh, did you do at that point? I went back out to the lobby and told him he was under arrest for obstructing government administration. Okay. And you believe you had probable cause for that arrest? Yes. And. During the uh, arrest, did he continue to make comments on that page? He did. He was shouting to, to people not to call, saying do not call the child sound police department. And based on your observation and experience, you believe that was a plausible directive or just for the show? I think it was a, a for show. Conjecting speculation. So following uh, defendant's arrest and release on the 10th reason, what, what happened with the uh, two phone calls? Uh, phone calls continued jamming our phone lines for approximately three days. Non-stop? Non-stop. So 
Well, you'd agree that, um, Mr. Manchin, showing up with a camera in your department to live stream or video tape what you're doing, that's a legitimate purpose? Yes. Also agree that uh, anyone viewing his videos, if they see something on the video they don't like, uh, what you're doing as a police chief or as a police department, they have their own independent right to petition you, to call you, to make a complaint. Sure, but not the manner that it was done. So they're not allowed to call you and say, hey, I have a complaint? Um, yes. Yeah, all right. If they're allowed to do that. They're allowed to call. Okay. You watch the video. Yes. And I think uh, counsel for the state showed that there were some comments on the side. Correct. And I think she cited one or two comments where a commenter put the department's phone number. Yes. And if you watch the whole thing, I'm guessing you've watched it several times by now. Yes. If you look at those comments, there are actually several people that do that throughout, right? Yes. Multiple times people are saying, here's the phone number for the department. Yes. All right. And so um, we don't know. There's no way to know if people call the department because they thought Mr. Manchin was telling them as opposed to reading one of those comments. Well, when I when I watched the live stream, and, uh, that's what I took out of when he when he mentioned I'm going to need your help on this one. Uh, and then when he interacts with that's the, a guess. Uh, when he interacts with his viewers and thanks them for posting the phone number, I think uh, I'm 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 quite certain that it's it's him wanting them to call in and teach us a lesson. He's got other people on that live stream saying to call him. And we don't know if any particular person responded to him versus a commenter. There's no way to know. Uh, there isn't, but this, it also okay. wouldn't have happened if he wasn't live streaming. But he's a legitimate purpose to live stream. I'm not saying that he shouldn't have been there in the first place. I'm not saying what he did was illegal to go there and live stream. He gets to do that, right? Sure, yes. And his audience, if they have similar views to him, they don't need any encouragement to call, right? They want to do that anyway. Was that a question? I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. If, if they have an antagonistic view of police officers and police departments, as I'm sure you'd say Mr. Manchin does, um, they don't need a lot of encouragement. They're going to do it anyway, right? Um, at that exact date and time, no, because the reason why it was all concentrated at that same time is because it was live streamed by Mr. Manchin. So what you're saying is these people knew that Mr. Manchin was engaging in a First Amendment protected activity, and they used that as a cue to engage in their own First Amendment protected activity. Yes, they all okay, engaged in the same way. Yeah. Okay. That's all I have now. I'm no expert, but I think the official legal term for this effect is called owned. Press's defense lawyer sure saved the big guns for the finale there. I hope the chief's wife and dog beat it through the night okay. It's time to hand down the verdict, and much like the officer who can't help but spew directives, a judge apparently also can't help but spew his criticism of your character. So you know what I take from this, Mr. Nash? Uh, you are someone who expects society at large, public servants, to respect your rights and to be respectful of you. You have the right to do that. You have the right to expect that. In return, I saw you and listened to you call people fools, stupid, lazy. Be rude and disrespectful to them, while at the same time expecting that people would be respectful of you. The street does go two ways. The lawyer finds you not guilty. The, uh, State could not prove beyond a reasonable doubt the act of the findings of the other. Thank you. Woo! Thank you. Woo! Congratulations, bro. Thank you, Mark. Well done, George. Thank you, Your Honor. So there goes a significant victory for the First Amendment and a significant embarrassment for the town of Charlestown. The doors are now wide open for civil suits, litigation, and possibly abundant settlements. Do you have anything else to say about your case, like what happened today? Just say something. No, just the support, man. It's just, it's, yeah. it's great. I appreciate it. Yeah, you couldn't have done it without support, honestly. Like. More importantly, though, Press NH Now walks out of the courthouse vindicated, able to move on from this and continue to live free.
After everything he's been through in Charlestown, including being arrested, assaulted, trespassed, disparaged, denied services, retaliated against, maliciously prosecuted, and ultimately exonerated, do you think Press NH now would never come back to this hellhole or resume his pursuit of accountability at the very first opportunity? If you think it would be anything else, you haven't been paying attention. An even more important question might be, have the officials of Charlestown learned anything valuable from this ordeal and show signs of changing their ways? Oh, look who it is. Or have they not learned a goddamn thing? Look who it is. Slow down! Zooming into the uh, driveway there. In his first return visit to Town Hall, they did okay. Press spoke with the town clerk about their new open records request policies, but she soon grew tired of doing her job. And this is the policy that we have. I know, but we're going to work on that now that I'm allowed in the town halls and, you know, police departments. I I, I'm asking basic questions about okay. your right to know. I'm not wasting your time. This is what you're here for, correct? Um, I fulfilled my duty with you, so this is our policy. Okay, so if I have any more questions, you don't want to answer them? Do you have a, qu a specific question? Jeff the janitor was nowhere to be seen at town hall, but here he is at the town meeting where press spoke up during the public comment section. Um, this is a 2023 budget, right? For the police and dispatch. Correct. All right, um, I would probably reconsider your budget for next year. For my case that just got dismissed, uh, maybe going forward with uh, civil litigation. I just want to aware this town of that. So because of that, I would probably highly reconsider that and uh, look, look into your budget a little bit more at this point. The other thing is, uh, are you going, a taxpayer here? That doesn't matter, ma'am. I'm just asking. I don't answer that question. I'm not going to answer that question. Oh, thank you. I don't need to be a taxpayer to come to this meeting. I'm speaking on behalf of Charlestown, New Hampshire residents that are concerned with these things. What's your name, sir? What's your name? Sir, what's your name? You don't want to give me your name? Why were we late for the meeting? What's your name? Why are we late for the What's meeting? What's your name? It's none of your business. What's your name? It's none of your business. None of your business. It is my business. You, work, business. For those, you work for the Charles Town, right? None of your business. Really? Business. You guys have not learned anything yet, have you? Oh, man. You just keep begging for me to come back, don't you? What's your who do, name? Who do you work for? What's your name? Yeah, I wish I had my right hand name What's tag, man. For ignorance, dude. What's your name? You know who I am. If you don't, you better learn. What's your name? Quick. What's your name? Quick. What's your name? Why are you being so disrespectful? I'm being you know, disrespectful? I, I, You're like, the one who was disrespectful. First, you came into the board meeting 20 minutes late, late and I'm questioning you on it. Yeah, and I'm asking you why. It is 100% my business. My business. You were 20 minutes late. What were you doing? Why were you late? What's your name? Why were you late? What's your name? It's press and H now. Why were you late? Why were you late? What's your name? Were you at the bar with name? Chief Connors maybe? What's your name? Were you at the bar? Were you drinking? Were you at the bar? Were you drinking? You're disrespectful. That's I am. Your problem. You're a piece of you've shit. Got every, there you go. Yeah. You've got every right to do what you're doing. But uh, you're here's Jeff, your backup. Maybe he'll assault me this time. It's exactly why I come to these meetings. Exactly why I do what I do. For pieces of shit like you both. Got respect for people. Even I don't care. I have like absolutely no respect for you. Absolutely none. And the reason why is because you won't answer a simple goddamn question about why you were late for this meeting. All you can do is walk away, dude. It's called the walk of shame, bro. It's all transparency. What are you even doing over there if you can't even answer a simple question like what your name is? And we're supposed to trust you? You don't answer questions. I don't have to answer questions. You work for me. And another thing, lady, let me just tell you something. I don't have to be a taxpayer to come into this town. I don't have to be a taxpayer to come to this meeting or ask questions. I live in the U.S., okay? It's a free country. Something you need to learn. And the ignorance on both of you is disrespectful to me and the people. I'm representing everybody that's not here today. Do you understand that? Maybe that case last week I just won didn't get through to your heads yet, but it will. And it's going to teach you very valuable lessons on who you work for. And you're going to understand that one way or another. That's all I have to say to you guys. Learn who you work for and be respectful. And when we ask you questions, be transparent and hold yourself accountable. I asked you why you were late and you still can't answer me. Why were you late? You will not answer that question. It is definitely my business. You're supposed to be here at 5 o'clock like everybody else. You think you're special or something? Who do you think you are? I guess they haven't learned a goddamn thing. You don't think press would miss his chance to check in on Chief Connors too, do you? This is a year-long overdue follow-up over at Charlestown PD in New Hampshire with Chief Connors. 
Let's head back to where it all began and give them one more chance. Surely the Charlestown Police Department, above all, has the most to gain by improving their public image, seeing as this is the epicenter of all the madness that transpired. Take a look around. Maybe things, uh, some things have changed. Oh, this looks familiar. Hi. Hi, how are you? Is that, uh, huh? Fine. Oh, hi. Security knows. Is uh, Chief Connors here? Not yet, no. Not yet? No. He's always on duty. He'll be on later on this afternoon. Oh, he's not working currently? No. Okay. How convenient. Huh. What's your name? Dispatcher. 442. 442? Yeah. We're not going to go through this again. What's your name? I'm not going to give it to you. Do you remember what happened last time? Somebody didn't give me their name? Is that a threat? A threat? What kind of threat do you take that as? I'm taking that as a threat. You taking that as a threat? Of course you would. Why wouldn't you? All right, well, thank you and have a good day. You don't have a name? Is Serena here today? No. She's not here today? Do you have any complaint forms? So I can file a complaint on you since you don't want to identify yourself? I don't think he'll be too happy about this follow-up, to be honest. Apparently you guys haven't learned very much, have you? Police Cadet Training Academy. Connors should probably go back to that. So, prayer comment card for Connors. Send prayers to Chief Connors for losing his qualified immunity for Preston H. Now. XO, XO, Preston H. Now. What's the purpose of filming of my truck? What do you mean? I saw you filming my truck with you. Oh, yeah, I'm in a public area, man. I know, but yeah. what's the purpose of that? Well, it's my business. I'm actually doing what I need to do here. Why, you don't have anything illegal in there, do you? No. Oh, this should but be. I any... don't want it on Facebook either. Who said Facebook? I did. Oh, yeah, I don't I do not do Facebook. Yeah, I have other platforms, though. Thank you, sir. Have a good day. Huh. You need a permit to put my truck to me on the face snap or the Insta book. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much owe them a year of audits, huh? Since I was illegally trespassed from all public buildings in Charlestown for over a year. Might come by a few times a week. I think that's him. Yeah. Yeah, there he goes. Chief Connors is here. There's the man of the hour, guys. Chief Connors. Hey, how are you? What's up, man? How you doing? Good. Um, so your dispatcher in there failed to identify. I think we learned from the first time. She didn't tell you her name? No, she did not. No, she didn't. She gave me her badge number. Okay. Um, you know, but that happened with uh, Serena, too. Yeah. And that's why everything happened Listen, afterwards. If you want to talk? Talk. Let me just go inside, get some squared away. Yeah. If you want to come in? We can talk inside. We can talk out here. Whatever you want to do. Yeah. Why? Well, you need. I mean, what do you? I just gotta get. I gotta get my brief. Gotta get your brief. Yeah. Like shift change. Oh. Gotta... Shift change. Come on. You're the chief. You know everything. Have you learned anything, literally, from this trial? It, it, rights. You know, civil rights. I mean, just transparency. Anything. Um, yeah. There's a lot of lessons to be learned. Okay. As in what? I mean, like what? Like, have you done any? You know, constitutional training with your department, or have you done any training regarding it? We have or are you training. planning on it? We've had training. You've had training, like what kind of training? Do you suggest like constitutional rights training? I mean, civil rights training. We've been briefed. You know, my guys have been briefed about prior things. to or after my case. They should have known already. So well, you should have. You're the one who made the arrest, Connors. All right. Well, listen. <laughs> Come on. The arrest. The, the rest is over with. You I know it's over with. You found not guilty. Yeah. I'll be the first one to shake your hand over that. Yeah, well, actually, I'd like a public apology, to be honest. So... And to be honest, if you resigned in the next 30 days, I may not even go forward with anything else in court. You can go forward with whatever you oh, want. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm asking. I'm demanding that you yeah. resign your position. Well, I'm not resigning, so that's, that's not happening. Okay. So... Let me ask you, if I did what I did, no. word for word, no. the same time... No. If you did the same thing today... Mm. No, I, I would not arrest you. you. So you've learned from that? Yes. Okay, because you do know we have a right to redress our government. Yeah. We do have a and right, have a just like... Set up. Yep, absolutely. Listen, I respect the fact that it was not guilty plea. It is what it is. Do you really? Yeah. All right. I do. I believed going into this case that that you did obstruct the operations here. I really felt that, that you know, that, that what you were doing was wrong that day. Yep. The same passion that I have for that is the same passion that you have with your First Amendment rights. I mean, the only thing really people want right now is, is a public apology. Seriously. Well, so, so sincerely, Mark, I apologize for putting you through that. Okay. Yeah, the whole case, the arrest, the bail. I do. You, I do, you do know that. that the bail conditions were literally, I appreciate that. It takes a yeah. man yeah. 
to literally give me, you know, that opportunity for an apology. And, I, and I'm serious. Like, I, I'm not here to bust your balls. I'm no. not doing anything. I'm not either. Uh, Lisa, who didn't want to Lisa identify, Perry, yes. if you can I'll just talk to talk next to time somebody ask her her name, it's, I mean, that's how this all started last time. Oh, I know. I mean, and she almost did it again. I know. I got gotcha. you. You have a ton of followers. Yeah. Are they, what are they called? Subs subscribers. subscribers. Yeah. I had no idea about the YouTube anything. Yeah. All right. I'm, I'm you never really... seen First Amendment auditing in the past. No. Um, but this day and age, anybody. Oh, can... This day and age. Staying, what, <laughs> like older no, a lot of police officers use that 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 lingo. That's all. See, we're all. The, this, this, I know it's so it's crazy. In our head. A, a lot of police this. officers use the same thing, like this day and age. Oh, my name's right here. Or, Is that why you wear the name? Yeah, this right yeah. There? It's for ignorance when police officers don't want to identify. Because when you ask them the name, they always go, "Oh, it's right here." Yep. It's... Look, these kind of conversations I prefer to have rather than the one instance that we had back then. Seriously, it could have been this way the first time. It's unfortunate that we had to come to this. Um, I, you know, I do kind of sincerely believe to a point that you've learned a little bit, at least from this. It, it just seemed like every time I came to this town, something else was, happened every yeah, single I, time. This town went crazy. Like, I, it's like, just it was like pitchforks and, you know, and my torches to coming at me. Was, leave the guy alone. Yeah. That's it. Just leave me alone and I'll go about my business. That's, you go that, about yours. That was and my message to the town. That's it. Right. All right. I'm going to let you go. I got a lot of business I got to attend to. Um, I think this was a fairly yeah. good conversation. Yeah. I appreciate it. Um, and, and you put your ego aside. You, you, Mark, listen, I'm telling you, you I, did. I, I, I'm not what you think I am. I mean, I've, I've met the good and the bad, you know, and there's somewhat of in between. I guess we'll see what happens next, and uh, we'll go from there. So, well, till the next time, Connors. Oh, we may or may not see each other soon enough. Who knows, right? As of the making of this video, civil litigation against the town of Charlestown is still pending. Chief Connors still holds his position and title, and Jeff Lessels is no longer on the select board. While the most savage elements of the storm have since passed, the effects will no doubt continue to be felt for some time. However the town officials and citizens alike may feel about Press NH now and the pursuit of the rights and beliefs he fights for, none of them, if they were truly being honest with themselves, could say that he hasn't left an indelible impression upon Charlestown or that the small New England town would ever be the same. This is America. This is the freest state in the country, and you're gonna respect everyone's rights. That's how it goes. You might not like what we do, but we have the right to do it, and you must respect that. You should not try to take our rights away. Do you understand that? We are going to live free or we're going to die, and I will die in place before anyone takes my rights away.